Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have fractions in the equation. So what do we do with those? And again, how do we know that we're actually looking at the equation of a circle? The key is the square term. The square term for the x and the square term for the y. Notice they're both divided by 3. So essentially they both have the same numerical coefficient. If the square terms have the same numerical coefficient, we're probably looking at an equation of a circle. We also have this constant over here, which we probably want to move to the right side. So let's start with doing that. So we end up with x squared divided by 3 plus 2x plus y squared divided by 3 minus 2y is equal to a negative 2 thirds. And then we want to get rid of that 1 third. What we want to do here is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3. And when we do that, we get rid of these fractions. So let's go ahead and do that. So the next thing we do is get this. The threes cancel out. We have x squared plus 2 times 3, which is 6x. I'm going to leave some room here. Then plus y squared minus 6y, leave some room, equals minus 2. Okay, why did I leave room there? Well, since I both have an x to the first term and a y to the first term, I'm going to need to find the perfect square. So, in the case of this, I'm going to take this and divide by 2, square it, and add it to both sides. So, again, let's do that over here. We had an x squared plus 6x. We take half of this, so 6 divided by 2, and we square it, and then we add it to this side. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 squared, we get 9, so we need to add 9 to that. The same over here, add 9 to this to make this into a perfect square, but if we add 9 to the left side, we're going to have to add 9 to the right side. And then of course we need to do the same over here. We have a y squared minus 6y, we take half of this, square that, and add it to both sides. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. If we square that, we get a positive 9. So we're going to add positive 9 over here. We're going to add positive 9 over there. And of course, we need to add the 9 to the right side as well. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, here, these three terms combined can be written as x plus 3 quantity squared plus those three terms combined can be written as x minus 3 Oh, not x, that's a y of course, so y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to 18 minus 2 or 16. And then of course to take this and make it look exactly like the general equation, we'll write this as x plus 3 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 4 squared. And now we can see clearly that the radius of the circle will be equal to 4. But first we need to find the center of the circle. So here we see that h is equal to negative 3 and k is equal to 3. So h negative 3, that's 1, 2, 3, that's over here. And k is positive 3, 1, 2, 3, that's over there. So where the two meet, that's going to be the center of the circle, negative 3 and 3. The radius is 4, so we find a point 4 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units up, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 units down, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. Then if we connect all those dots, like that, move the dot a little bit, we'll cheat a little bit to make it look a little better, but there we go, we have a circle, the radius of the circle is equal to 4, the center of the circle is at minus 3, 3, based upon our equation right there, and that is how it's done. And we're done with the series.